A Thread from Carlos People talk about a secret democratic plan to switch Biden out at the last second. There's no such plan. They're behind him 100%. Check out the trending hashtag Go Joe. Here's one. Seriously, the founding fathers, but all hashtag Go Joe. We're seeing the most frenzied meltdowns ever. Kirken, Kurt Eichenwald blasts liar Tara Reid, rot in hell, from Breitbart.com. Tim Poole said that supporters of Donald Trump don't care that Trump committed sexual assaults. No, I didn't believe the claims. They were absolutely outlandish. Trump is a famous germaphobe. Such a person doesn't do what the accusers claim. Gloria Allred and her daughter, Lisa Bloom, are leftist political activists. I once contacted both offices by mail, uh, by email as an experiment. I told them that I'd been sexually assaulted by a Democratic presidential candidate. Neither office responded. I looked into each accusation made against Trump. Keep in mind, there were never whispers swirling around Trump, just as there were never whispers surrounding Kavanaugh. I dismissed the accusations made against Trump because they were ridiculous. We've devolved into a childish form, childish form of choosing sides. Believe one or the other. I do neither. I look into accusations to try to see if they're plausible. But I also look at the people involved. Do they have a provable pattern of this behavior? Has the accuser turned his or her description of the event into pornography? Plenty of people don't talk about their experiences because there's really nothing the listener can do. My brother and I talk about our experiences only to each other, nobody else. I've written a memoir, because what happened to my brother and me isn't the main point. We were collateral damage. The memoir is about how some of history's most consequential people can go undetected their entire lives. They engineer it so that exposing them would do too much damage to public institutions. That's how they hold entire countries hostage easily. One person can do it. In order to convey the magnitude of all that, I had to describe the indescribable. I wanted to write a book that people will want to read more than once. Therefore, the descriptions are brisk and rapid, no wallowing. The book could have been pornography. Instead, I think I've created a new genre. I didn't read all 32 tweets of Kurt Eichenwald's rage, but I'll tell you this, I don't believe him. I'm sure that something happened to him, but he's embellishing it. Why? Because he's a feminist. I'll put my own experiences on the table in any trauma championship. I'll always win, hands down. But so what? It doesn't prove anything. That's why I never discuss it in detail. Doing so cheapens it. I don't even discuss it in detail in my book. But the way I describe it will stay with you far longer than anything you've ever read. Here's what Kurt Eichenwald and other feminists did. They made stories of sexual assault. Boring. Leftists rob all concepts of meaning. The more you hear certain words, the less they mean. You can prove this to yourself. Repeat a word out loud for one full minute. Cheesecake. If you stick with it for a full minute, you'll be surprised that it becomes simply a sound, like the barking of a dog. It's called semantic satiation. This is an alien concept to leftists, and that's why they have destroyed themselves. Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crown, Crowds is a three-volume psychological study published, published by Scottish journalist Charles Mackay in 1841. There was a scene from it that I always remembered. A man went to Haiti and was asked to review a Haitian honor guard. They looked very similar to this, link in the description. He thought that the badge on the front of the shako the tall headgear looked odd, so he walked over to a soldier to take a closer look. The badge was the lid of a sardine can. Joe, Joe Biden 
is a sardine can lid, and the Democrats see a beautiful badge. Remember, leftists believe in postmodernism and deconstruction. There is no objective truth, and words have no meaning. Truth and words are what you decide they are. For that reason, they will run a man with dementia as president. Donald Trump is firmly rooted in reality. Objective truth exists, and words have meaning. And most importantly, actions are all that matter. Trump landslide in November. Count on it.